There are mainly two different approaches to sculpting a face in 3D. First one is starting with a rudimentary form like a cube or sphere and tweaking it into a human head figure. Another way is to sculpt the likeness on a base mesh which has already been retopologized and UV mapped. The first technique requires you to have a basic knowledge of facial anatomy and since this video is only about likeness, we're going to start with a base mesh. After importing the model to ZBrush, turn on Perspective. Deactivate Universal Perspective Camera and set Angle of View to 30. Pick up Move Topology Brush and make sure that Symmetry is on. It's wise to record your progress into separate layers so that you can always go back to previous stages in case you made a mistake. Always have a couple of references from different angles on display and try to form different parts of the face to get it as close as you can to the subject. This step helps you to train your eyes and over time you'll become better at finding and capturing different facial characteristics. Start with the base subdivision and as you progress you can subdivide one step further to work on more subtle features.
Let's import some of the references to ZBrush through the texture menu. After that, click on the texture then turn on Add to Spotlight. The image will appear on the canvas. You can move it around and put it in position using the ring. After placing the reference, press C on your keyboard to lock the spotlight. I changed the material to polyscan to help the model be more visible while the spotlight is on. You can also decrease the image's opacity. It looks like that the camera lens that was used to take this photo is wider than usual, so I changed the angle of view to 50. You can easily toggle on and off the spotlight using the shortcut Shift plus C. You have to change the camera's angle of view according to the reference, but if you're not sure, stick with 30 and most of the time it'll work just fine.
Thank you for watching this video. In the next video of the likeness course, I'll show you step by step how to paint the skin from scratch in ZBrush, using poly paint. Until next time.